Daniel 7 and verse 9. We have an identity crisis. Why do I say that? Because we don't know who we are. We think Jesus is a white man. But Christ is a black man from the tribe of Judah. Right. Come on, read that. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Come on. The book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. Get what? Guess what? The Ancient of Days did sit. Meaning what? God had a body. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Uh -huh. And the hairs of his head like the pure wool. It says what? The head of his hair like the pure wool. The Most High God hair looks just like yours. That same hair that you reject. Why do you reject it? You put in the weave, you put in the coloring, you put in all this stuff in your head and destroy your hair. Give me Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and verse 3. Bring it out, Austin. Bring it out, Austin. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and verse 3. We're going to show you what Christ looks like and what his father looked like and what you look like. Come on, let's read it. The book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and verse 3. Bring it out. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be God. We must delight in the beauty that God created us in. What image is that? We were created in his image. Come on, read. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Now God is going to show you how much better he is than all the other gods on this earth, including the God of Mother's Day. Read it. For the first author of beauty has created them. Did what? For the, the first author of beauty has created them. For all you men, to all you men out here, you were created in the image of God. Understand that. You were created in the image of God. Read it again. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 3. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be God. Uh -huh. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty has created them. Uh -huh. But if they were astonished at the power and virtue, let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. Understand that. God, the all-powerful God made you in his image. But what happened to us? What happened to the children of Israel? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. We're going to show you. You know what? No, give me Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 36. We're going to show you what happened. Hey, brother, you over in the green suit, in the tan suit. Come over here and hear the true uh, gospel. Come on, read that. That's Bishop Moore. That's Bishop Moore. Yeah, Bishop Moore. Come on, Bishop Moore. Come on over here and hear the true gospel. Come on, read it. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 36. Pray. Behold, we are servants this day. God says that we're servants this day. Why? Read. And for the land that thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof Pray. and the good thereof. Uh -huh. Behold, we are servants in it. Hey, hey, Bishop Moore, let, let's talk man to man. Let's talk man to man. Where in the Bible does it say in the New Testament we still got to give tithes? Uh -oh. <laughs> I just want to ask a question Because listen, 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 listen We are here for our people Where? Give me that Malachi that the pastor like to read Where the man robbed God three, three and eight. Let's get it, let's get it Can you please come give me the understanding Of will a man rob God? Well, I, I, I want to talk to you I'm not the bishop But I want to talk to you too though What about you? When, when is it? When is it? Are we supposed to give tithes? When is it? They don't want to deal with us, man. Come on, Dave. They don't want to deal with us. Cause I, I can't tell you this. Look, the Israelites is ready to die for what we believe in. Y'all not. And you know we're going to give you understanding of it anyway. Are you you there, Malachi? Read it. The book of Malachi, chapter three and verse eight. Uh -huh. Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God? That's a famous pastoral uh, quote that they love to bring out. Guess what? They say that the, the Old Testament is no longer binding, but guess what? They'll pull that Old Testament scripture. Right. Read. Yet ye have robbed me. How have we robbed God? The Lord is going to tell you. Read. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? Uh-huh. In tithes and offerings? In what? In tithes and offerings. Hey, hey, uh, pass in that cream suit. Uh, uh, you reverend in that cream suit. What is tithe? What is tithe, brother? Most of our people have no idea what tithe is, and guess what? It has absolutely nothing to do with money. Read it. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, 
Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings? Mm -hmm. Three. Ye are cursed with a curse. You are what? Ye are cursed with a curse. Three. For ye have robbed me, even the whole nation. Hey, my, hey, my dear sister. Hey, sister. Hey, sister, come here for a second. Let me show you something. Hey, come on over here for a second, sis. Come here. I'm not. I'm just going to ask you. I'm going to edify you, sister. Come on. Just a few minutes. Come on over here, sis. What's your name? Melissa, yeah. Melissa, let me ask you something, Melissa. Do you know who you are according to the scriptures? Huh? Yes. Tell me who you are, sis. Huh? I am a queen. You are a queen. Okay, sis. So, let me, come around here and show you something. Yeah. So, you said you are a queen. All right. Do you believe the Bible? Did the scriptures say that you were a queen? I already took the What scripture do you have? Huh? That I am his and he is. Okay, that would be true. The, you are his, but nowhere in the scripture does it say that you are queen. It not. Okay, all praise it. So now that we've got that established, come on around here, I want to edify you, all right? Now, those cigarettes that you're smoking, is that good or bad for you? It's, it's not good for you. The world isn't good for you. So why, why do you smoke it? To get the world, this is my flesh. I'm sorry? To get through the world, it's my flesh. So the cigarette's gonna help you get it's through the world? It's my flesh. It's your flesh, okay, now watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Now, sis, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what happened to us as a people, all right? You dropped the pieces of the fly. That's part of it. Let me show you what happened to us as a people. Why you're so stressed out. Why you feel like you have to smoke cigarettes. Watch this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. First Corinthians, you know what I wrote. So the Lord says when we broke his commandments that he was going to place curses on us, right? Watch this. Do you feel like you are the curse? Oh, you do? Okay, all right, watch this. I wasn't a slave myself. Absolutely. Now watch this, sis. Watch this, read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Now listen, the Bible says that you are the temple of God. Now, on this sign right here, where's your father from? Is he a so-called African-American? Or is he from the Caribbean? Judah. Okay, all right, so you will be from the tribe of Judah. Watch this. Read that again from the top. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So God says that you are his temple. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God desires to dwell in you, but it can't when you're defiling it with those signals. Watch this, read. If any man defile the temple of God, defile the temple of God, read, him shall God destroy. How is God going to destroy you for smoking cigarettes? Hey, hey, brother, how you doing? You doing all right? Come on over here, bro. We're showing my sister here who she is according to the wow. scriptures. When you see that sign, where do you see yourself on that sign? American black. So according to the Bible, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That is your true nationality. You're not African American. You understand that, sister? But there is something that is required of us. My dear sister is smoking a cigarette. Now I want you to hear the scripture again, all right? Watch this, read. Do you smoke? Do you smoke? You do smoke. All right, watch this, read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 16. Come on. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So you're the temple of God, brother. What's your name? Mari. Mari, you are the temple of God. You understand that? You are from the tribe of Judah. You are the temple of God. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. God desires that his Spirit dwells in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. As I was asking my sister, with you smoking, how is God going to destroy your temple? How is he going to destroy you? Huh? Your lungs. All right. What do you think, sis? The same thing. So, right. So now you're defiling your body by smoking cigarettes. Remember, God that said you are the, His temple. So knowing that, knowing that, you know that is sin. That is sin, right? Give me First John five and uh, five and three. So, got some more. Okay, finish that. I'll read. Him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Hey, brother, you still don't want to come over and listen to the Bible? Uh, you still don't want to listen to the scriptures? Say, brother, you still don't want to hear the scriptures? Hey, can you tell me real quick what sin is, brother? 
officers up. You understand that? Y'all see the condition of our people? We don't know what sin is. And if even if we do know what sin is, we reject God's laws. Right. That is the reason why we're on the bottom to this day. That's why we got our brothers hanging out on the corner doing absolutely nothing. That's why our brothers and sisters are smoking. I think it's we have to come out of our sins. What you got, sis? Well, no. Well, ignorance is meaning, okay, the Bible says not to, so, do you agree that we are? Okay, right, so now, we just showed you that you were from the tribe of Judah. We just showed you that smoking cigarettes, you're defiling your body. When the Bible speaks of ignorance, meaning you have no knowledge of, but you have knowledge of that, so what are you going to do? We stand in the gap for those who don't know, and we Well, now I just shared it with you, so what are you going to do? I showed you what the Bible said when you are going to do. Okay, read that. Finish that. Yeah, go ahead. That was it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. You see that? How you doing, brother? Hey, what, what's your name, brother? My name is Evan. Evan? Yeah, Okay, Evan, where do you see yourself on this side? Because you're here. Okay, you're from the tribe of Judah? According to that, yeah. According to that. Now, now what, what do you see yourself as? What do I see? Oh, yeah, are you an African American? Do you see yourself as an African American? You can't imagine. I can turn myself a person. Hey, let me show you something real quick before you go. We'll, 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 come on back. Come on back. Give me uh, Acts chapter 3. I'm going to tell you, man, I'm not really into titles. The only thing I know is, is that I've been born on the planet Earth. Uh huh. That's all I know. Right. I mean, I'm from Chicago, so if okay. anything, I'm in Chicago. Okay. That's hey. all I know. That's where I was if born. We, you know, we try to right. Right. So watch this. We wouldn't be now, here. now listen to this. So all of us have come from. We got brothers that come from Puerto Rico. We got brothers that come from Haiti, right. from Jamaica, right. all over this place. And all of us saw ourselves as African Americans, as uh, West Indians, as Haitians, as Puerto Ricans, Cubans, and so on and so right. forth. Right. But God is now waking up his people now by the prophets and we're showing you who you are according to the Bible and how important it is for you to keep God's commandments. The commandments that we've been taught that we should not keep is why our neighborhood is in the condition that it's in now. You understand that, brother? So now, I'm sorry? It's in all of our, where we're located at. Now, come, come up here, bro. I want to show you something. What you got? I was just telling the brother there, my city bus comes in about five minutes. Okay. This one will come until two o'clock. Right. I was interested that I seen y'all. Hold on, before. brother. That's why I came to get a pamphlet. I'm assuming most of this information is in here. Yes, a lot of the, some of the main and, and, stuff and is in it, there. Yes. And there's a way to get in contact yeah, yeah. with you guys? Yes. Well, hold up. Before you go there, let me get this to you. Go, read man. that. The bus, yeah, right the bus here. right here, brother. The no, bus I'm stop going right here. That way. Watch this. Just give me this. Read that. If I miss it, you don't want y'all got to give me that. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Come on. Mm -hmm. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Did you hear that, brother? The Bible repent, says repent. Converted. Do you know how to repent? Yeah, stop doing what you're doing if it ain't right. Of all praises, brother. So you got that? That's how we repent. Watch this. Read it again. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Now, brother, do you know how to repent? And sister, do you know how to repent? Give me first Kings. You know what I want? Yep. So we're going to show you uh, 46. We're going to show you how to repent because many of our people don't know. They, they're they familiar with the word but have no idea what that means. You got that? Read. The book of first Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemies. Now, see, now I want you to pay attention to what this is saying. Oftentimes when our people hear the truth, they get mad and upset with us. We're simply reading the word of God. Watch this, brother, read. So that they carry them away captive unto the land of the enemy. So because we decide to sin against God, we went into the land of captivity, which is America. Read. So that they carried them away captive unto the land of the enemy, uh -huh. far or near. Ready? Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. What does it mean to bethink yourself? It means to remember who you are. You're from the tribe of Judah. You have to remember that. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land, whether, the, whether they were carried, carried captive, and repent, and make supplication unto unto thee that the supplication means you, that you're praying to the most high understand that read in the land of them that carried them captive saying we have sinned we have to admit that we sin read 
We have sinned and have done perversely. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. Done what? We have committed wickedness. We have committed wickedness. Watch this, read. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. So how you return back to the Lord is that you come out of your sin. That's part of repentance. You pray to the Lord, acknowledge the fact that you're in the midst of sin, and repent, meaning to turn away from that sin. You understand that, brother? Yeah. Now, are you willing to do that? You are. Okay, watch this. Give me Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 30. All right, Leviticus 13, 30. I'm going to show you. Hey, sis. You need to watch that, get that flyer. You need to call the number on that flyer. You need to congregate with your brothers and sisters, all right? Watch this, brother. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13 and verse 30. Read. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight, deeper than the skin. Hold on. Come up just a little closer. Bro. I want to show you something. Just come up a little. I want you to pay attention to what we're saying, okay? Read that. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight, deeper than the skin. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. All right. Hey, brother, we talked to you before. We spoke with this brother before. So no, this is no, this is this the third yellow time. Yellow thin hair. What is yellow? First time I was here. The second time I was here. What's the French word for yellow? It's blonde. Now, notice what the priest said about blonde hair. Read that from the top again. Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 30. Uh -huh. Then the priest shall see the play. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. Another word for a priest would be pastor or preacher. If he sees blonde hair in your head, read. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. The priest would then say you are unclean because you have blonde hair in your head. We adopted that because of what? Give me Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. All right. So this is why we adopt some of the customs of our enemies. You know that the so-called white man is our enemy, right? You do know that. Okay. Watch this. Read. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So God told us not to choose any of the ways of the oppressors. Now, I have a question that I must ask you. I must ask you. What are you battling with? What are some of your personal battles? You have cancer? Okay. You have cancer. What type of cancer do you have? Stomach cancer. All right, go to, uh, you know what I want, Deuteronomy 28 and 61. This is going back to why these things are happening to us. Remember, it is sin. It is sin that's got us in the condition that we're in. In order for you to be healed of your cancer, if it be the Lord's will, you got to come out of whatever sins that you're involved in. All right, watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Did you we used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.
Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today.